Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Felicia with Flickr, etc. 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 Flickr. E. ETC. Et. Cedra. All right. Today's video, I am really, really, really excited for. In my last video, I talked about how I got a Presto Pot at the thrift store for $10. And those things brand new. I can't, I can't do it right now. I'm a budding business owner and there's enough expenses that go into making candles than having to just buy item after item after item. So I told myself that once I launched and if my launch was a success, then I would um, buy myself a Presto Pot. Well, I ended up going to a thrift store and I found one for $10 and I'm so thrilled about that still. Through this whole entire process, I am going to show you guys um, the best thrift finds that I can find, the best secondhand deals that I can find because I know that I appreciate a good deal. Um, case in point, this Presto Pot, that extra bit of money can go towards Wix, it can go towards Wax, Wickedy Wax. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's get back to the um, point of the video. The Presto Pots that, I, um, that a lot of people have they either have the lid on them and then once it heats up they will ladle out the wax and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that at all but the ones that i see that are really really pretty and i like them and i really wanted this for myself were the ones with the little spout you turn it and the wax just pours down from them i decided that i was going to make it myself a big point of this video is i am not super duper inclined with power tools of any sort but i kind of want to show that if someone like me who is a complete beginner with um power tools um, any of that kind of stuff, then you could do it too. What I'm going to do is take you out to my husband's workshop and I'm going to show you what you will need and then kind of break down um, the breast, <laughs> the breast, <laughs> oh my, the best price points could be so that way you could try to save money in there somewhere and maybe you'll find your own thrifted presto pot but if by chance you get one brand new then the same techniques will still apply to an old presto pot a new presto pot it doesn't really matter as long as you have these types of tools it should be just fine let me take you out to the workshop and then we will get started again this is something i'm very very new at i'm really intimidated by but i am going to try my best so what you're going to need is your presto pot and then a valve. So I got this guy at Lowe's and this is a three quarter inch valve right there, you can see. I got a one inch um, metal paddle bit. I think that's what it's called, I don't know. I got this little guy right here. This is a teeny tiny little bit, super teeny tiny. You can tell how like familiar I am with all of these tools and terms. A drill, if you know, you know and some JB Weld. Now this right here is going to be super important because it withstands temperatures up to 300 degrees. You're never going to get near that, but um, this is going to be your sealant to, to go around the valve. Now, I would also like to mention that I did not come up with this. This is not my um, original idea or anything like that. Jeff Stanley did a video on this and he broke it all down. And in case you guys come across my video, I wanna show you how, but um, all the credit that I've seen from it goes towards that video. Also safety glasses because there's going to be metal pieces kind of flying all over the place and you do not want um, metal shards to get in your eyes. So I wear glasses but I'm going to put these over my glasses just as like extra precaution and now let's get started. Okay where's my teeny tiny bit? Oh my gosh it's so teeny tiny did I cover it? Yeah I did. So what I'm going to do is put this in the drill here. Thrilling content right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. All right, so what we're going to do is figure out where you want to put your spout. Take this off, I guess. Yep. I want mine to go about here. So I think I'm gonna put the hole right here. There's like a little like bend. It's not like a curve. There's a teensy little bend right here and a slant. And I want mine to go as close to the bottom as possible. So I think I'm going to put the hole right here. That way the spout will be right there. And then I could JB weld around it and create that nice seal. Holy Toledo, guys, this was $10 and such a good deal. If I freaking mess this up, I will be so sad. Well, 
<laughs> Here goes nothing. Shoot, I'm so nervous. All right, let's take this guy. Oh Lord, gotta create this little guide hole. That's why I'm, I'm using this teeny tiny little guy right here um, because I want to have the point go in there and it'll guide it where it needs to go. So let's put this in there. Holy shnikes, I'm trying to keep this PG slowly. No going back now. Woo! All right, get you out. Okay, so we got that in there, and now we're going to switch out the bits. Let's give this a shot. Oh, Lord! Okay. Let's put it in the guide hole. Now we're just gonna go slow, guys. We're just gonna take it slow, okay? Oh gosh, all right. Ah! All right. All was good, all was good, all was well. Okay, so it drilled everything except this part right here. And I'm not exactly sure why, but I think that with a little bit of elbow grease, we can make it our own. Let's see. It's pretty thin, so I'm not too worried about it. There we go. Yep, that looks good to me. All right, now let's get the JB Weld mix in. It has two parts to it, so what you're gonna do is take off a little bit here. I'm gonna take off probably about that much there, and then start mixing it together. So you want this all to become one solid color right there. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is lay this right here, and then I'm going to start sealing off where we put our spout. Now this stuff sets in like five minutes, and it says that it cures in an hour. Just cut off just a teensy bit more right there. Mixy, 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 mixy. If you do the front, that's fine, but I'm gonna reinforce it in the back because that's what Jeff Stanley did in his video. So that's what I shall do in my project. At the end, that's how it looks, just like that. And then on the inside, we got that guy right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm trying to have it at the best angle where it can be seen. It's not just like all against the um, edge part right here. It's kind of like all from the edge to the very um, tip of this spout. And it's going at an angle. So hopefully once um, there's wax in there and it's all melted, um, and if I have to pour it out to try to get like the last bit of it out, it'll theoretically um, just kind of all go down that little like funnel area um, and not like all build up on the sides on the walls, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, let's get this bad boy inside. Let's wash it up a little bit. But I think that's it out here. The next time you see anything, it'll be in there. All right, so this is how it looks after it's all cured and all set. It is all good to go. Not the prettiest, but you know, as long as it does the job, that is fine by me. Let's take a look on the inside here yeah I think that's going to work just fine all right so I filled this up to a little over halfway and um, when it melts down it's going to be significantly lower than that so I wanted to make sure that it would cover the spout at least so let's turn this guy on right here get a little past warm there and wait for this guy to melt down and then we will test it out I think the only thing that annoys me about this is my own fault that this isn't perfectly like 
straight up and down. This is just a teensy, teensy bit off. Just a little, just a little off. All right, let's take a look, see? All right, yep, look how far down it went. From being like up here, down to there. You hear crazy noises out there, that's my husband playing with our children, which is the greatest sound. So, let's check it out. Oh! Let's open it just a little bit more. Oh yeah! Oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, don't you just want to like touch it? That would be so dangerous. Yay, guys! It works. Oh my gosh! This is thrilling. This is absolutely thrilling. Holy Toledo! Yeah, it does a pretty dang good job. Oh gosh! I am so happy. <gasps> Yay, dream come true. Thank you, Thrift Store. Thank you, Idaho Youth Ranch. All right, guys, and that is it. As you can see, it works really, really well. I am super proud of myself for um, doing that all on my own. And it's a little off. It's just a little off kilter. But for the most part, I am super happy with the way it turned out. So um, I can't wait to use this. I can't wait to make more candles and just up my production value. That's about it. Thanks for watching this video and yeah, uh, I never know how to end these things. So I guess um, like and subscribe and um, I hope you follow along for the rest of my journey. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh my gosh, there's a wasp in here. Honey. Oh no, it's gonna kill me. No, right, I'll just hit it with a hammer. You're gonna hit it with a hammer? Yeah. No, that's too far away. <laughs> Be gone, Satan. <Cesar. laughs> <Careful. laughs> it did? You succumbed. Okay. Thank you, my hero. <laughs> I only mercilessly murdered a wasp for you.